Piers Morgan has slammed Celtic fans for hijacking the minute's applause for the Queen before their premiership match against St. Mirren on Sunday. A section of the Celtic support made their anti-monarchy feelings heard before the clash as they held up a banner which read, If you hate the royal family clap your hands. The fans chanted the song as well, while the rest of the stadium took part in the minute tribute for Her Majesty's passing. It was another shocking moment from the Hoops fans, following their two massive displays during their Champions League fixture with Shakhtar Donetsk in Warsaw last week. One of them simply read, F asterisk 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 the crown. And another banner read, sorry for your loss Michael Fagan. The second display was a swipe referring to Fagan, who broke into Buckingham Palace twice in 1982. The supporters were spotted on TV as the BT cameras panned across the traveling Celtic fans. It led media commentator Jeremy Kyle and TalkSport pundit Simon Jordan to blast the showing as it sparked outrage across the UK. And now Piers Morgan is the latest celeb to come out in protest to the Hoops support as he called them heartless for their antics before their match with St. Mirren at the weekend. He used Brentford's tie with Arsenal as an example of how the tribute should be done after their fans took part in an impeccable applause on the 70th minute of their Premier League fixture. He tweeted, magnificent applause at Brentford, Arsenal on 70th minute for the Queen, and stirring spontaneous singing of national anthem. What a contrast to the heartless Celtic fans that chose to mock taunt a 96 years old woman who loved Scotland so much. Meanwhile. Ainge Postacoglu refused to comment on the conduct of Celtic fans who ignored the tribute. Asked directly how he felt about the fans' inappropriate singing and their banner, the Celtic boss said, I addressed all that in two press conferences. I'm not going to do it in three. I get why the interest is there. But I'm a manager at a football club, and I sit at press conferences wanting to talk about football. We addressed that matter, we did everything we needed to do. It's time we moved on.